One of the most respected baseball executives in the landscape has been relieved of his duties in Kansas City. Dayton Moore ought toward the 2015 World Series winning Royals. He has been relieved of duties as head of baseball ops as of today. Effective um, today, Dayton Moore will be uh, leaving the organization. And J.J. Piccolo will be uh, effective immediately responsible for the baseball operations of the Kansas City Royals. Dayton resurrected this franchise. It was, uh, it was not in a good spot. Uh, he rebuilt the farm system, player development, rebuilt the international business, and rebuilt the team, and which in a way that culminated in back-to-back -back, uh, American League pennants and a World Series championship in 2015. I'm very proud of what we've accomplished here. I'm very proud of, of our culture. And I'm really excited about the future of the Kansas City Royals. In baseball, when you don't win enough games, change sometimes is, is required. It's a part of it. And we know that. And we accept that. And everything in life is for our learning. And I will continue to learn through this as well. You know, Dayton Moore said many times after winning the World Series in 2015, they had to sell out and they knew there were lean times coming. I don't think anybody thought those times would get as lean as they were in 2018 and 19. This year's version uh, with 65 wins. In fact, that's the pace, a 65 win pace also falling flat and well under 500. Um, we can say this uh, and Ruben, you did this job for a long yep. time. You'd really have to look far and wide to find somebody in baseball circles that has anything negative to say about Dayton Moore. He is among the highest respected guys out there. As you said, one of the most respected uh, baseball people that I know. Uh, just a wonderful human being. It's, uh, this is sad news, and I'll tell you why this is sad news. There are only really a, f a handful of real baseball people, people who have players, uh, been a player, been a coach, or been a scout in the game uh, who, is, who is now running an organization. And that concerns me a little bit. Um, I think that Dayton Moore was one of those guys that uh, never always tried to create a wonderful culture. And he did that. I've read a lot about other things, what he wanted to do with his organization, how he wanted to handle it. I think that he's, he's created a great culture there. They won a championship there. It's very cyclical game, as you talked, as you talked about. Um, and, and it's unfortunate that he had to lose his job. I, I guess at some some point, um, it's great that uh, uh, Piccolo's getting a chance to to, to get the, to to do that job now. But um, but this is a very well respected man. I, I love this guy, and I know he's going to be back in baseball soon. What time was that press conference today? I don't know. I don't uh, have the time date stamp. Yeah. Why do you ask? Probably. Let's just say it was 3:15. Is that why you guys are wearing black, by the way, or is it because of the no, last day of summer? Because I'm, lo I'm, look, I'm looking at the clock. It's about 5:15. Five. If Dayton Moore answers his phone. He's not unemployed right now. The moment he walked out of that press out of that press conference, yeah. his phone start ringing. Right. That's how well respected he is Absolutely. in our game and what he's been. The true definition of success is leaving an organization better off than it was when you arrived. And when you look at what Dayton Moore has been able to do in the 16 years that he was there in Kansas City, you heard the owner. He changed the entire culture of the organization. They're in better position now than when he walked through the door. Even though it's been some lean years, you look at their drafts, you look at their farm system, you look at the culture in which he has built within the organization, he actually mentored the person that's going to take over. He mentored that sure person. Yeah. So it's not like he's leaving the organization and the cover is bare. He's leaving the organization in great hands. So any owner that's out there that's looking for somebody to head up your organization, get this man on speed dial. <laughs> Who would you rather be right now, Dayton Moore looking for your next opportunity in baseball or Brian Cashman trying to figure out how in the world you're going to pay Aaron Judge? <laughs> that's a tough call. That's a tough <laughs> These call. No are question tough about questions. Yeah. Yeah.